So let me try to give you like my take on all the different ways how you can deploy the software. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a monitoring software, Zabbix, right? But basically the same applies like to anything, no matter what you're thinking to deploy. And just to remind myself what we're talking about, I have like written all of three options. Basically, I think it all comes down to the three options. Like there is a SaaS platform, which is obviously in the clouds, like whenever you are receiving some service from the vendor who is responsible to do all this stuff, but everything is hosted in the clouds right the second option is uh, basically we can call it like a vps so you decide to purchase and pay some money for um a virtual machine right virtual machine hosted in the clouds but still you manage everything uh, yourself right you you do the patching you do the installation of the software configuration of the software the only thing that you put on the cloud provider is uh, let's say all of the possible hardware costs because you don't need to worry about a physical servers you don't need to worry about hardware failing and on top of that you will also get a pretty nice sla usually like 99.95 or something like that making sure that your virtual machine is actually running and a third one is on-premise for those mo most i don't know conservative or whatever for people who don't really trust the clouds and they want to keep everything they have they want to have their own bare metal servers or just maybe vmware or whatever uh, hosted at their own data center in their own office so they are the kings and as i said like today we're going to be talking in the example of the zabbix which basically offers all of the three options like for your convenience like if you want to go with uh, uh let's say vps uh you can install it yourself you want to go let's say you want to go with the vps and you want to do all the installation and configuration you can do it through the packages you can install it from the containers or whatever if you're more like a SaaS person um the new thing new product from the zabbix zabbix cloud right five regions seven tiers peak performance automatic updates and everything and if you're more like uh I want a minimal hustle, but still like have a control of everything which is happening in the environment, then probably we're looking for third party cloud vendors like AWS uh, 7.0 version is also available right now. You can deploy the Zabbix server, choose the database, web server, how you want to do that. And basically just with single click of the mouse, um, you'll automatically get the ec2 instance in the cloud provider you wanted and uh, everything is already going to be installed you can do the tuning and you will be responsible for patching and the security but still like you own and you have a full access to the virtual machine so let's try to dig about all three of them and talk about like what is convenience advantage and perhaps a disadvantage and i don't know i, I will also make some notes so Let's talk with a sauce, right? Um, which would be the Zabbix Cloud. And uh, it's easy for me to talk about uh, convenience because from my experience, pretty often, um, especially if we talk about some small companies or, or someone at the home or whatever, I don't know, 50 people company, 50 server company, they do say and, and they do mention that, yeah, we would really want to have... Uh, monitoring right maybe zabbix or something else but we don't have uh, knowledgeable people for that right we don't have uh, sys administrators who are familiar with the linux and they will also need some knowledge with a database and do some monitoring configurations so you perhaps need to send them on the trainings and and stuff like that so essentially you need to spend a lot of the resources uh on the people uh the staff who will be respons responsible to manage that so to the plus of the SaaS, we can say fully managed by um service provider let's call it like that uh provider right so in this case it is savix advantage no no need to manage and hire and train staff right and if we talk about the large installations and also considering that someone might go uh, to the vacation someone might get sick or, or whatever um and they will be absent so you must have like at least the minimal would be two persons right even better if those are three and if we are talking about some mid to high level 
engineers right the salaries of course they're going to depend like from region to the region but uh, those are going to be high and probably most likely the salaries for those three engineers are yet going to be higher than the expenses for the SaaS platform like a Zabbix cloud in this case so what do we have fully managed by the service provider no need to manage and hire and train stuff um no need to worry about hardware right um what else no need to worry about scale because again like if you have on-prem installation or something like that and your infrastructure grows you add a new and new data centers uh, you have more more hosts to get monitored essentially you're going to run out of the uh, specs the hardware resources of your computers you will have to think like what the hell how can i get more like we need to purchase new hardware spend more money and then then we need someone who will assemble all of that stuff and do all of the crazy stuff about a negative um about a negative you don't really control your data right sort of you do like or maybe not the control you don't really own your data because data is hosted somewhere of course it's it's not a big secret like in case of uh, the zabbix cloud uh, whenever you are creating um your node in the cloud you can choose the region and it's 100 percent open that all of your data is hosted in the region that you have chosen but there's still a big difference whether or not the data is hosted somewhere in the cloud even if I know where it is but I still by the way cannot access it where data is stored somewhere in a server beneath my table or in a data center where I clearly any day can go take out the disk and say like hey here is my data um another disadvantage is pricing um predictability i guess that would be the correct word and i'm not really talking about in some cases in some SaaS providers like not the case with a zabbix cloud but it's some um the pricing policy might be not as transparent so you sort of get information like hey this and that uh costs you like five dollars per resource or whatever and that's gonna cost you ten dollars but the essence is that in the beginning of the month you still have no idea how much this actually is going to cost you how big is going to be the bill at the end of the month so with a case of the zabbix it's pretty much straightforward like when you sign up for your node and you decide which tier you want to use and how much storage you want to have you already know how much you're going to pay at the end of this month next month and after six months unless you decide to um change your tier or do the upgrade but in the long term still like the company who is providing the SaaS service and doesn't matter the the vendor or whatever is basically dictating the price right and now you might be purchasing your um node or whatever for let's say $100 a month but after two or three years or maybe even five years they might come with a decision like hey you know it was $100 and now we're gonna make it like $500 and there's not much you can do about it especially thinking that like most of your environment might be already like heavily rooted in a SaaS platform so looking on all of your options what you can do switching away would basically cost you more than agreeing to pay much higher fee and and price for the service that you are receiving like this is something that it's basically unpredictable especially in the long term so what could else happen wrong like fully managed by service good uh, you don't really own your data uh pricing predictability um at least for me i don't know uh, I find it some way like this advantage that uh, you are not in control, right? You have SLAs and, and you have like availability and usually those SLAs are pretty high to convince you to not worry about the availability. But even if whenever I host something myself, even if SLA is lower, I feel safer because I am in the control. So that if something breaks, I am responsible to go and fix it and I just understand that it depends like on me how fast I will do that will I know how to do that how fast I will be able to find information which I'm sure in like analyzing globally 
me doing that would result in longer downtime rather than it would be done by the service provider but i personally like to be in the control of all this stuff so just relying on someone and if let's say we remember the downtime of uh, atlassian right which was uh, pretty crazy and your service isn't working sla is breached and the vendor is just saying like yep we're working on that you will have to wait and the only thing that you can do is literally sit in a couch and wait which is not my favorite thing to do so the next one cloud vps and i think when i've talked about this like so either the virtual machine or we can also grab like this third-party clouds right from the marketplace purchasing something um i can talk about this here as well so plus no hardware expenses um and here like no, 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 no. Uh, you don't pricing you are in control uh no need to worry about scale you already mentioned that so no hardware expenses on uh vps or on a marketplace you don't need to worry about the server uh, you don't need to worry about a hardware if the time comes and you need more resources you just upgrade your compute node in the cloud you pay a little bit more and and that's basically it um plus sla right whenever you are on prem there's basically no uh sla unless you have some high availability but here like everything is uh, pretty much strictly defined in in the terms of service so everything is pretty much clear what is definitely the downtime uh you pay i know i i would say it is a downside like if you decide to go with the third party uh cloud vendors like all of these uh let's i don't know let's try to open it they are not free right and here is the pricing so you can see that uh, zabbix server 7.0 mysql version costs basically 30 cents per hour and that is something you will have to pay and at the same time you will be still responsible to um do the patching you do the patching and you do security fixes you do all the tuning so basically you are still fully responsible for the server right and uh, you need to configure all of the stuff and do all the magic with the only difference you don't need to worry about the hardware but you're still sort of like disadvantage where is your data it's still not in your data center most likely depending like what kind of uh what kind of uh storage you're having or where or what kind of system it is but most likely data is also somewhere in the cloud so just like in a case of the SaaS, you are not in the control and also you need staff to manage the server so I know I, I personally think that like this uh, VPS system is uh, uh, pretty pretty much a lot of the nose right and if we talk about on-prem the physical bare metal something which is like standing right there next to second table my uh, NAS uh, what are the advantages privacy and security with the security it's still like a complex question because well it's going to be as secure as you make it right and it's not necessarily that you're going to make it pretty much secure and especially if we talk about the long term like every morning you may wake up uh, there is a chance that you will open um i don't know internet and find out that some super vulnerability was was leaked and now your server is vulnerable to something and if it's accessible from the outside from the internet that's even worse and now you need to rush like skip all the coffee stuff and just go to uh, to the server trying to fix it but um privacy everything is on your premise right you're in control you're in charge of the data you can take all the this drive and put it in some locker box where we're just dig it behind the tree or whatever so that's good on-prem minus again you need staff you need hardware uh you need what else staff ha staff hardware you need um what resources if you really plan to grow and uh one of the other like advantages 
it it really is an advantage because whenever when you're trying to decide whether or not you want to go in a cloud as a VPS, where you want a SaaS platform, where you want to do on premise, it very much also depends on like what which exactly system we're talking about. And if we're talking about just some uh, let's say media servers storing some clips or movies or marketing materials for your company that are anyways available somewhere online, like logos on your web page or stuff like that, those are like low risk content right and and then it's no trouble to host them on online in in the clouds in a SaaS or in a vps or whatever because there's nothing sensitive we don't want to lose this information but if someone if someone gets it they will not do any harm by just seeing the videos that are still available online if you look for for the required time period right but if we talk about uh, well, the second option, the one that we mostly talk today is the monitoring. So with the monitoring, we are transmitting a lot of the sensitive data, right? We're monitoring all sort of the stuff which doesn't necessarily going to be like system CPU load or, or a free disk space. It can be something much more sensitive. So and also to monitor something, we pretty much often need some sort of authentication and a password. So like if you want to monitor the database, you need to provide a, a username and password and do the authentication. And if we don't have an encryption between these components or some VPN tunnels or whatever, we are pretty much risking to be compromised if someone bad sniffs over the network and finds out this information, either some sensitive monitoring data or some sensitive configuration data, it can become pretty much a disaster. So it also really depends. Um, what exactly are you doing? Like if you want to monitor your on-prem data center office, whatever, and uh, you have the resources and you have the staff and you have the hardware, it's pretty much going to be much more convenient and easier to monitor it with some on-premise monitoring tool, right? Installation. You don't need to do anything over the network. It can be just local, uh, local network without risking some bad hackers compromise your information. But if sometimes, let's say you want to monitor some remote locations, ships in the sea, in the oceans, or, or planes in the sky, or some supermarkets in thousand different locations in the world, then obviously like monitoring everything through the local network will not be possible. And you're still have to use the internet connection to connect all of those endpoints so then you might not be like a big difference because you still need to use cloud vps or a SaaS platform but essentially for the on-prem i would yeah i know it's like privacy and security um basically goes under the under that but uh advantage of using local network not public internet right i guess we can sum up like that and uh, essentially uh, since we're talking like for 17 18 minutes and it's time to wrap up um i would say that it's a pretty difficult choice and whenever you need to make this choice and and it really depends from what kind of software you are planning to deploy in the in the clouds or locally what kind of information is going to be involved uh, how much um, company critical this resource is and then juggling all pros and cons uh, you make the decision and usually it is a trade-off from some convenience price and uh, security and, and 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 privacy right and very often for the companies and for us as like a private persons and whatever we really care about the convenience and uh, we're not so much against like trusting our details and our data to someone else and paying a little subscription every month just to have a convenience and not spend a lot of hours in early mornings or late evenings trying to understand what the hell happened with our service and why it doesn't work we can sleep much better knowing that it is basically managed by someone else and uh, we really don't need to do anything so let me know in the comments what do you think about this and like which option you would personally prefer for what cases other than that thank you guys for watching you can subscribe to all of the social uh, medias you can find in the description you can follow me in the patreon there is a free tier there is also a paid tier and and yeah like all of the 
goodies available for you but so far thank you guys for watching see you later goodbye